Sure. We're going to go ahead and start our uh, post-race meet availabilities for the 40 Go Boost 400 Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series. We're joined by our, our second place finisher, uh, driver of the number 18 Toyota, Kyle Busch. Kyle, uh, I know it didn't turn out the way you wanted it to, but that was a hell of an exciting end of that race. Yeah, it, uh, it wasn't quite what we wanted there at the end. Uh, I thought we had a really great race car, especially on the long runs. We were really, really good. I uh, just came down to uh, there at the end, not having enough tire when I got to the 78. So I just uh, overused my stuff, and I knew I overused my stuff uh, when I was running with the 22, trying to get by him, and um, you know just overworked everything and got to the four, got by him pretty quick. Uh, I tried to make sure that I could do that pretty quick, so then I could have at least a little more tire life, but uh, it didn't didn't seem to pay me off any when I got to uh, to the 78. So. Thanks to all my guys, everybody on this M&M's Caramel team. Uh, our Toyota Camrys were fantastic this year. The work from TRD and everybody at Joe Gibbs Racing has really come together and done a fantastic job. I feel really bad we come up a spot short, given that uh, I thought we had the best car today. And, um, you know, that's, I guess that's why it's called racing, and uh, you got to run it out. Any questions for Kyle? We'll go right here to Mike Henry, please. Mike Henry, USA Today. A couple of times you made a couple of charges and got within a, a couple or three car lengths of, of uh, Martin. Where, where were you making those gains? Any special place on the track? Or uh, a couple of times it was exit. A couple of times it was it was entry. You know, so um, you know, it just seemed like the more I could just uh, slide through the slip of the tire, that uh, I could make up ground. But it wasn't it wasn't rewarding me any. It was actually probably a deficit. But um, I did try a couple laps to uh, to get the car under control and to slow it down and to get the tires back underneath me and I lost ground so there was only one way to go and that was to just overdrive it so I tried to stay as close as I could stay and uh, and if he made a mistake or if he caught the wall or something like that then uh, I could try to pounce but that never happened he did a good job and um, and, and got himself a championship. Any additional questions for Kyle? We'll go over here to the far right. Tom Bowles, front stretch. Kyle, I just wondered if you could talk about the late race strategy there to stay out on that pit stop. You know, if it works out for you guys, you look like you would easily win the race, but in the end, it cost you track position there. Yeah, it did cost us track position, um, you know, but uh, I was all for it. You know, the last couple nights, we've seen NASCAR uh, leave it green, and uh, they let them race it out, you know, so I thought that that was going to be kind of the strategy but I guess when you're uh, when you're gonna win by 12 seconds or something then you better get a caution when you can get one so um, I don't know I don't know if there was really stuff out there I didn't see anything out there I don't know what was the leading cause to uh, to throwing the caution but um, you know there you, it's always inevitable it's always gonna happen so I guess that just uh, we just didn't think of it and it bit us. Kyle congratulations on a great season thank you and we look forward to seeing you in Daytona.